Okay, some of you were asking about how you can replace line work in your Photoshop files when you have already exported a PDF from Illustrator. So I'm going to show you how you can create a linked file in your Photoshop file so that you can easily replace the line work if you need to make edits. So uh, this is my section and let's say that I have added another callout and changed the line types of these bubbles and I want to now replace this in my Photoshop file. The easiest way to do that is to um, go to where your line work layer is, right click and go convert to smart object. So once that's done converting, basically you're going to see this little icon in the bottom of the layer, which indicates that this is a file that has been linked in to the document. If we double click on this, it's going to open up that file in a separate window. So um, let's say that I have gone into Illustrator, I've made a few changes, I have added a few lines and added another callout, and I want to re-export this and bring it in. So I will save this as a, a new PDF, and I'm going to give it um, another revision number. So I'm just not going to save over top of my original, I'm going to save a new file. So I'm calling this Rev3 and I will save it like that. I'm gonna keep it on the qualities that I have, which are a high quality print. And I'm just gonna make sure that preserve edit, Illustrator editing capabilities are checked off. That's always a good thing to have, just in case you lose your Illustrator file, you can always open up the PDF and your uh, line work will be intact. So I'm gonna go save PDF. And then I'm gonna go back to Photoshop and I'm going to open up my new PDF in Photoshop. So I'll just drag it into my window. Now, when you have this import PDF dialog box, make sure that you have this set to bounding box. Um, that's gonna kind of crop it down so that there's not as much white space on the sides and it'll be easier to duplicate into your um, linked file. So um, I'll press okay. And here we have the new section so what I'm going to do is go to this layer and right click, and then I'm going to go up to duplicate layer. Here we can select another document to duplicate the file into. So I'm going to navigate down to this PSB file, which is um, the, the section that we have open up here. So I'll do that and go back to this. Now, if it had been cropped at the exact same width, it would come in at the exact same place, but you can see there's a little bit of a disconnect where the section is. So you just have to use, just kind of grab it and use the arrow keys or your mouse to shift it around. You can zoom in and just make sure that all of your lines are matching up where they should be. So I'm gonna keep moving mine, just using the arrow keys until um, I can tell that the line work is in the exact same spot. Once you have your layer in the same spot as the original, um, you can just copy this name. I've just double clicked to select it. I'm pressing Control C to copy it and then double clicking and pressing Control V to copy the name. Then you can get rid of the initial section that you had. Um, and if you just save this file, don't have to, you don't have to go up to file save as, just press control S to save it. You'll see it's saving up here. And then we close it. We go back into our um, Photoshop file. You can see now that this file is linked in. So now it has updated the line work according to the new PDF that I've put in.